Today, they are two months and two days old. It's the 22nd of September 2016. And these are all of our chicks, and they've grown quite a bit in just one month's time since you last saw them. They're all doing well, all 16 of them. And we have integrated them with the older hens, but we keep them separated when they're in the coop uh, because of food competition. But we let them out, and sometimes we let them mingle for a little while in between the coops. So I'm gonna go on in and let them out to uh, uh, forage and free range. All right, these are the chicks. They haven't been out in about four or five days. Um, so they are really happy to get out. There are lots of grasshoppers around and things to eat. This is little Pippi, the this smallest is Pippi. chick. Okay, hi Pippi. Hi Pippi, look how big you are and how beautiful you've become. Yes, you're gorgeous. She's doing very well. Uh, these are her sisters or flock mates. Why don't you put her with them and we can see how she compares to them. And uh, so they've spread out. They, they're getting a lot braver. And these are our... They're, they're sounding more like chickens. Um, Pullets are some of our girls. So these are the um, Buff Orpingtons. And that is our little rooster. It looks like we only have one rooster after all, and that one of the other, one of the Buff Orpingtons that was acting like a rooster is just a large hen. So we're keeping our fingers crossed, but it looks like that's what's going on. These are the speckled Sussex here, um, like Pippi. There's one over there. Um, let's see, this is, these are the, this is one of our, um, Morans, Wheaton Morans. Uh, and then the black and white one that is so pretty, we think she looks like a Dalmatian, is one of our Easter Egger hybrids. Uh, the black one is a Moran. She's very friendly. Turned out to become very, very friendly and curious. She's a sweetheart. We like her a lot. Uh, they must they got some grasshoppers over here. Uh, the brown ones there are the speckled Sussex. Buff Orpington's gold one. There's one of our Wheaton Morans, and you can see the feathered feet, which is characteristic of the breed. Don't close your mouth. That's how they cool off. They pant. And then, so we have two Wheat, or the Wheaton Morans. This one's darker. Look at this. The Buff Orpingtons are not as friendly as the black moran but they're docile um and then this is one of the the we look think looks like a seagull she's a easter egg or hybrid they seem to enjoy coming closer to us and they even will fly up on top of us i hear those grackles or blue jays up in the trees. Okay, that one's Pippi? Yep. 
So she is smaller than the others still. She stays by me. She's the buff Orpington. Yeah. You might be able to go get some tomatoes from the garden and give them to them. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey, sweeties. I'll go and get some tomatoes from the garden that are splitting and aren't good to eat, and only the chicks. And the okay. Chicks Why don't you do that? Yeah, and so we don't let them out um, to forage now unless there's someone here to watch them. And we've been very busy lately. Oh, hush. So, here's the rooster, cockerel. So we want to um, make sure there's someone out here to keep an eye on them at, whenever they are out so they don't get to free range as often. So, um, anyway, yes, yeah, so they're two months old. They were hatched July 20th, and, uh, and they will be laying eggs in four months. So, today is September 22nd, so... So, they will be laying eggs in the middle of winter, <laughs> January. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, right now with our four hens, we're getting three or four eggs a day. So yeah, so that's our update. They're all doing well. Um, we're still feeding them the chick feed. We're adding um, diatomaceous earth now to their feed um, as well as to their environment and in the coops to keep the mites and worms worm load down, which other farmers here in Iowa have advised that's what they do, is add it to the feed. And they're trying to get into my garden there, which is why I fenced it off. Uh, the grasshoppers have really done a job on the sunflowers, so I um, haven't had a lot of luck with them. So I'm not that worried. Oh, okay. Where's the one that had the brown cheeks? Oh, it turned much whiter than... It's, it's interesting because it was brown and black as a chick. And now is one of the lightest of them all. She is mine. I'm trying to catch her. Yeah, the hybrid, Americana hybrids are more squawky than the others. There we go. Let's have a look at this one. Smile! Oh, they have such cute beards. See how that one, is, how that's black? Isn't that soft? Mm-hmm. She's so cute. She's very pretty. She's one of the beautifulest chickens we had. We have. Mm -hmm. She makes a lot of noise. It's a very, very beautiful whole rooster. I'm the expert at chicks. Bye. <laughs>